Hello. It is New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. We hope you had a happy and safe one. Yeah, because you'll be watching this tomorrow. In 2021. Wow. In the future. <laughs> we just dropped my mom off at the airport, and so she is headed back. And yeah, it's... It was a good visit. It was a really good visit. You know, goodbyes are hard, but we always know. We don't know what we're doing tonight. We'll see everybody soon. Yes. Sarah's going to finish putting up the vlog. Mm hmm. I have a couple more things for work to do. Yep. He is snoozing. Now we're going to figure out how we're going to ring in the new year. Mm hmm. This looks with the reflection of the Christmas lights, but it is hung. Look at that, eat seasonally. It is a gorgeous print, absolutely gorgeous. I think she sells it online. We'll put the, the info down below. Gorgeous. Is it better like this? No. It looks better in all lights. I love it. Well, it just turned into a relaxing, restful New Year's Eve so far. 5.20. Oh! <laughs> Jamesy boy says his mom does not get to sleep. Wake up! Play with me! He's so relaxed though. He is. And she's relaxed. And we were watching that on the point on Disney Plus. Oh, on point, I'm sorry. So on point from Disney Plus. You, and I think we're like taking a, a yeah, mid-afternoon to relax yeah. to get ready to keep the energy up so we can stay up late because you know us Brooke Hearts, we need help staying up we late. We never stay up late. Are we going to go anywhere or are we going to stay here? Well, I think we'll stay here for the the drop and everything because everything else will be closed. But huh. if we want to leave to go out somewhere before, we should think of that soon because it's 5.30. Are you going to stay up till midnight with us? Celebrate? The beginning of 2021. It's crazy. It's not going to be the year he was born in it anymore. I know. He's just chilling. He's not sleeping. No. He's not like super cozy, but he is cozy. Yeah. But he's just relaxing. Had a busy week with grandma visiting, huh? <laughs> Peter's holding the camera for me. Um, we're staying in. Same. We're trying to... This angle... We're trying to figure out what we're gonna eat. It's like, do we eat at home or do we order out? We have this air fryer now. We do have. Should um, I go to Publix and get a bunch of air fryer junk? Well, I feel like we have cauliflower. We have cauliflower. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What do we do? See, the thing is. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. And the thing is, sometimes, by sometimes, almost all the time, I never watch the vlog. Sometimes Sarah cuts rambles that I do, and she doesn't tell me, which is okay. Because then she's like, oh, we should show that on the vlog. And I'm like, silly. I showed that the other day. And she's like, mm. That hit the editing floor. So the other day, when we were preparing for Sarah's mom to arrive, and I made up the bed, I showed you guys, but then Sarah decided that she didn't want you guys to see it then. <laughs> but here is the big old bed when it's all taken out because like this thing this piece 
slides into that, but here it is all big and beautiful and made because Sarah's mom unnecessarily made the bed before she left, even though we're just gonna go throw all that stuff in the washer and dryer. But it looks really good, especially with, I didn't even think about how it looked with the blueprints. And it's just like, even as a big bed, the room just works. I'm in love with this room. So you guys know we don't have cable. Well, yes, might not have known, but we haven't had cable since we got married. Um, but we used Sarah's mom's Xfinity login. We decided that we're probably gonna, until we like get the flavor of both, we're gonna bounce between ABC's Ryan Seacrest countdown to New Year's Eve and CNN's um, like funny and serious and goofy one. It just feels really weird, extra weird. I mean, a lot of things about 2020 were weird across weird, the gambit. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> you want weird? I'll give you weird. Weird, weird, weird. Fine. Weirder, weirder, weirder. Weird, 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 A lot of things were weird about 2020 in the most terrible way when it comes to like the pandemic and the most perfect, amazing miracle way like James. Um, but we've always made it, we started making a tradition for us to go to Epcot on New Year's Eve. We actually had a park pass for Animal Kingdom today, but we were too busy like resting and cleaning up and you know, just resetting after we dropped off Sarah's mom at the airport. But it's weird to not be at Epcot tonight, isn't it? Because, like, put some clips in. yeah. So, literally, all the cast members and the band went whoa, 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 whoa. at 6 p.m. We all count down to the midnight New Year's in Germany with all the German cast members. It was so nice and special. Okay, before we hit the dance floor, we have to have to uh, fill up, replenish our fluids. Cheers. Cheers. It's not New Year's at Epcot without Beverly. <laughs> Eleven fifty-eight. There's the spaceship Earth. We're in the park. Now we gotta try to make it to World Showcase. Ready? Like, cause it's just like, it is unreal on New Year's Eve typically. I and mean, it was probably unreal today, but it's still that they weren't doing anything for New Year's Eve that I'm aware of. Like they usually do, no, no stages, no great crowd gathering and everything, which is, which is the right way to do it this year. Um, but like, I miss the dragon. Like I can't believe tonight was supposed to be the night the dragon at China. And we were gonna bring, we could have brought James. He would have been blasted by the smoke of that dragon next year. Well, since we didn't plan for New Year's Eve, because we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't get any snacks or dinners or treats or anything. And we have to go grocery shopping because Sarah's mom just left and we were in vacation mode. So I'm back at our local wonderful Publix. And once again, the intent here is to get a few things just for tonight, just for the fun festivities and not a whole grocery haul. And we're thinking tonight's theme, air fryer. 
Okay, so I, I'm nursing in the nursery. I've never, I don't even know if I've really ever nursed him in here, but this chair is like such a good angle and so much support. I don't know what I've been thinking. Um, I'm definitely gonna be in here more often. Anyways, I just got off the phone with Peter and he says it's ridiculous. I don't think it's even that ridiculous, all the stuff that we're gonna get, but it's all going in the air fryer. Peter is like something that he typically does is like if he's cooking or if he's like making something for people, he will wait till the end to like have it himself. Like he's so excited to like when he was air frying for me and my mom this weekend or when he made makes me and him breakfast, like he always wants me to eat and then he keeps on going. So I was like, but if we air fry, you aren't going to eat it when it's hot because that's what you always do. Like you, he's just like a host kind of guy. Um, and so what we're going to do is like fry, eat, fry, eat. So that we'll eat together. Everything will be hot and nice and delicious and quick. Um, and so I think we got pizza rolls, egg rolls, taquitos and potato skins. Oh, we are doing it tonight. <laughs> Sarah and Peter have no self control tonight. I just bought a BOGO on the 20 count of pizza rolls. That's right, 40 pizza rolls on top of other stuff. I gotta get home and bust up. Heat up this air fryer. Oh, hey, I was about to say, I think it's a bad omen that the moon looks like that on New Year's Eve and living in Winter Park this year compared to last year because we were at Epcot. I didn't realize how we can hear because we live like in neighborhoodly residential people firing off fireworks. It feels like we live back on the south side. What up, New Age Miley? We got Ryan Seacrest's New Year's Eve going. And it's now time to begin the feast of all air fire unhealthiness. First up, we got vegetable egg rolls. BOGO vegetable egg rolls. Next up, beef and cheese taquitos. No BOGO. Is that Nelly on our TV? That is Nelly. Next up, BOGO 20 count cheese Ooh. pizza rolls. And the combo. We're eating all of this tonight, both of us. Oh no. Got Sarah a Primo, aged 30 years, sparkling Welch's red grape. And locally sourced, classic Florida IPA. Rome City. Rome City. We got our egg rolls out of the air fryer. It's Grant's birthday. Say happy birthday to Grant. Happy birthday to Grant. <laughs> <laughs> he is 24. What a little spring chicken. The weird thing about so far from the air fryer stuff is sometimes they look burned like that one, but then they don't have the same crisp as a burn or flavor that it's burned. It just tastes delicious. I am not an expert, but I'm pretending to be. The key to the success of the air fryer by Ninja is to run it on max crisp <laughs> for at least a minute or two between food items. Look at this deliciously curated edible art. Look at how big this kid is. Peter says he looks like a little boy who went down the chimney in a white onesie. <laughs> but they're really cute. Oh, yeah. yeah, Auntie Angela and the boys got him these for Christmas. They're so nice. Yeah, so happy. Wow. Here are the taquitos. Look delish. Got some ranch to dip them in. God bless you. <laughs> You're so cute. And so are you. How do we get so lucky with our little ones? No way. So I think we can say this now that we weren't in it. But this YouTube commercial about how to that's being played on ABC during the New Year special, we signed away the rights to one of our YouTube videos where Sarah talks about how to vote by mail or by early voting. But it didn't make it to the final edit. That would have been so cool. Yeah. Like the production company that produced this, reach out to us. Sarah's throwing it back to one of our favorite videos of absolutely all time when we, when Sarah, I'll give her all the credit because it was all her, tediously tracked every event we did in 2018 in Orlando, Florida. We made this awesome video on New Year's Eve two years ago. Yeah.
37 minutes to showtime. James didn't make it. Someone said they needed to lay down for 20 minutes to make it to midnight. Yeah, I do. <laughs> this bed is just out and looks so comfy, so why not? You're just getting old, so. No, no, I was up late editing and up early editing, so. We'll take a rest. I'll wake you up. Quarter okay. till. 20 minutes to midnight. Sarah's asleep. James is asleep. He's asleep. But it's a sweet way to go into 2021. Well, this is definitely how New Year's Eve went. I woke Sarah up four minutes before the drop, and this is the scene about four minutes after midnight. <laughs> but guess what? I couldn't be more blessed or happy. You stay asleep, little baby. Bit of a big and emotional New Year's Eve for the whole world, and especially for us, um, because of James and everything, but also really minor key but kind of a big deal because this has played such a big piece of our life for the past two years i'm about to read the last message of this two-year calendar um but we are going to pick up we might even pick it up tomorrow if it's at disney springs we are going to pick up the same calendar again i'm curious to see because it's been over two years since we purchased this last if they've modified the quotes at all if not, we're okay with it um, because we haven't read those quotes in two years. So the next time I read, if it's the exact same calendar, the next time I read the quote I'm about to read you will be on December 31st, 2022. So, wow, James will be just over two years old then. That is wild. But we'll, and if anybody wonders why we would do that, is because one, we, we love these messages and we feel that you guys love them too, but also because like we can't reuse it because like Grant's not going to turn 24 every December 31st and the dates of the week and everything would switch off. So anyway, for the last time of this actual calendar, the message is from Tretton Sheldon. At the end of the day, all that matters is love and memories. So make sure you give it and make sure you make them. Well, that should be like the new slogan for the Brookhart Project. I love that, Trenton. Happy New Year, Peter. Happy New Year, Sarah. We hope you have a, had a safe and happy New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Hope you're excited for the new year. Mm -hmm. I know we are. We have a lot of great, great, great plans yes. that we can't wait to share with each and every one of you. We love each and every one of you. And we're so glad that you shared all this time with us. What he said. And continue to share your time with us if you choose. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.